Hello, thanks for joining me for uh, another quick NSCRM add-ons video. Um, today we're going to cover uh, Documents Core Pack server-side and client-side document generation and explain what the difference is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, mainly, uh, what the, the difference between the two is that the client-side document generation takes place on your local machine, whereas the server-side document generation takes place on the server. Um, some of the major differences are, for example, I'll just uh, go ahead and, and give an example of the client-side document generation. Um, this would basically be like if I would open up a template I'm going to go ahead and just take a, a quote template here um, and go ahead and open that up. So I would be able to um, generate this document right here on my machine, on my local machine, um, in Word. Okay, so I can basically write in here, this is an example of this, I just basically choose some CRM data here. And um, as that's coming up, I'll just pull up a quote. Uh, and go ahead and, and merge the document right here. Um, so this is exactly just an example of client-side document generation. One of the things that you can do with, um, with uh, client-side document generation that you can't do with server-side document generation is after I perform the merge on the document, um, I have the ability to go ahead and edit the document um, and do some things with the document before I go into the post-processing step, whether that be sending the document as a PDF or creating a CRM activity for it. So the client side document generation is a little is, is a lot more hands-on, um, and it's good for situations where you need just basically a lot of control. Um, it does require that uh, your users have the Documents Core Pack client installed. Um, they will have this uh, Documents Core Pack data provider um, on their machine, which will give them the hook into CRM um, to pull the data out. Uh, and it's uh, it, it's just it just allows more control over document generation. Um, another way that we can do this, uh, we'll just go ahead and close this all out here real quick. Um, is say if we are on our CRM system itself. Let me just move on over to uh, my accounts real quick. Uh, this is exactly what your users um, would end up seeing uh, when they would use this uh, straight out of CRM. Again, they would need uh, the uh, Word installed on their machine and the Documents Core Pack Client installed on their machine. Uh, let me go right over here to quotes. Uh, pull up the same quote that we uh, that we used there in the in the merge example. Um, and basically what we have here is we will have this, uh, this create document button here where we can choose our template, uh, go ahead and hit it. Now, as you can see here, what happens is Word opens up. Um, it's going to briefly open up the template. You'll see the template flash and, um, then it will, will merge the document. So there we go. Again, I can go ahead and edit and do whatever I need to do with this document before post-processing. Um, moving on to the clients, uh, to the server side document generation, uh, basically what that is, is that, um, it uses the, the documents core pack server, um, and it, and it uses that basically to generate the document, um, uh, basically from the CRM server itself. Benefit to that is your users do not have to have word installed. Um, you know, they, they can, they can just basically click the button generate the document, or you can uh, build some workflows with some dialogues and have these documents generated automatically, say, that make, for example, on a save or if a field changes. Um, uh, just want to kind of roll through the dialogue real quick to give you uh, a brief overview of what it looks like. Um, we have the Create Document button right up here. Um, and i just go ahead and basically what it does as it comes in, it asks me for uh, the template that I want to go ahead and choose. Um, I'll say next, reads the information out, and then I'm presented with the uh, the different things that I can do uh, with the document once I'm done with it. Um, for the purposes of this demo, I'm not going to kind of go into detail on it. We have other demos on that, but so anyway, so the document creation is in progress. 
Right now, it's basically pulling the template on the server. It's merging the information to, um, onto the document. Uh, it's taking that document and turning it into a PDF. And then once that's finished, um, I'll have a uh, I'll have a generated document. Um, so and it just takes a few seconds for it to for it to generate, and uh, then we'll be moving right along. So I've got my document here. I can go ahead and open that up. Um, now, one of the things about the server-side document generation is you do not have the ability at this time to um, actually edit the document once it has been generated. Um, that's, that's really important to know, so you definitely need to do some testing um, on your templates if, you, if you're going to use the server-side option just to make sure that they're correct and they're merging the documents exactly how you want them. Uh, once this is all done naturally, just go ahead and click Finish. And um, and the, the server-side document generation takes over and does other processing steps. Um, so again, just one, one more time to kind of reiterate, Documents Core Pet client-side document generation, if your users need a little bit more hands-on um, uh, after the document's been generated to, to kind of edit the document and do things with it, then client-side is definitely the way that you're going to want to go. Um, server-side document generation, a lot better, say, if you want to uh, control things, say, with workflows or dialogues, um, this uh, automated button, the automated dialogue button um, for Documents Core Pack server side, uh, that would definitely uh, be the way that you'd want to go with the, with the more automation. Um, I hope this helped explain to you what the difference is between the two, and I uh, want to thank you for joining.